Hey everybody, welcome to a tutorial on my channel. I know it's been a while since you've seen a tutorial on my channel, but we are back and today it's going to be a pretty simple but a, a great aesthetic piece to any world, especially neighborhoods, things like that. And basically it's a camper van, basically. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, uh, but also you guys might get a sneak little preview of some of these houses for season two. So they look pretty good as you can tell. So just a little sneak preview along with these so basically this is exactly what we are making today now what this is for is for aesthetic purposes to put it in a backyard or you know at a campsite you know it's just a great thing to have so let's go over the materials that we will need so we will need black wool black of quartz quartz slab any color of glass you choose dark oak wood planks cobblestone wall cobblestone slab uh any color carpet you want dark oak wood slab dark oak wood stairs and spruce wood fence and some spruce wood stairs. Now I know that sounds like a lot just for this, but it will be pretty simple. So how about we get started? So basically we're gonna start off with our uh, dark oak wood. So basically, actually let's put a piece of um, cobblestone wall down just like this. What we wanna do is take out your cobblestone slabs, add three pieces of this right next to it, whatever direction you wanna go. So one, two, oh, mess that one up, two, three have a block gap and put a spruce wood fence and then put four pieces of cobblestone slabs. One, two, three, four. Just like that, nice and simple and you know pretty easy to understand like what we're doing here. So next, take out your dark oak wood planks, put one here right on top of the actual, um, what these, of uh, the fence. Take out your dark oak wood stairs, put one here and have it come out three wide, or actually just one on each might work as well, just like this. Now taking, I know there's a lot of materials, taking your dark oak wood slab, have the slabs come all the way out to the cobblestone wall just like this, nice and simple. Uh, we, we can put away our cobblestone slabs and walls, but if we now take out our glass, what we can do is start on the front here and stack it up one, and then on the fourth block here, closest towards the fence, add a one on top. Do the same thing on both sides. Now when you get to the center here, have the center come up too, just like that. Next, take out your court stairs, and basically you're gonna have them facing out towards and away from the center. But then when you get to the one here, close to the two tall on the ends, have it be a corner stair, so just like this. And then do the same thing on both sides. This will be a symmetrical build as well, just keep that in mind. Okay, so looking pretty good. So next, taking your dark oak wood planks, have it come out one, two, three, four, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Again, symmetrical on both sides. You can fill it all in. Take out your block of quartz and stack it up two blocks. So it should be the height of the windows here. Now come three blocks away and on the fourth block, add two more pillars. And then in between the two pillars, fill it in with your cyan glass or whatever color of glass you choose to use. As you can tell over there, I use black. This one I'm using cyan just to kind of change it up a little bit. So next, we're basically gonna be making the front that we did over here just one block shorter. So let's add in upside down stairs. And let's have them come out two blocks instead of three. So this was four long, the back should only be three. So what we're gonna do is the exact same thing, just again, one block shorter, just like this. Same thing with the corner stairs and everything. Do, do, have them facing the outside. He, one here in the middle stacked up twice. Okay, so you can kind of see everything taking its shape. We're pretty close to being done already. So now if we take out our quartz slab, on these two quartz pillars that we added, basically that's where your quartz slabs are gonna go, just like this, okay? Now in the front, you actually wanna extend it out one more, and that way it kind of shows like what is the front. And we're gonna get rid of one block behind and just add a one block piece for kind of like a skylight. Okay, so the rest of this, you can actually fill this in with glass, like this and then take out your carpet, whatever color carpet you wanna use, I'm using gray, and I'm gonna put it on top of the glass here, and what this kinda of does is it kinda of just hides some of the color, and boom, looking pretty good. We have a couple tiny touches to add now, and the tiny touches include taking out a wooden button and a stone button, and you will also need your black wool. What we're gonna do is your wheels are gonna go right below uh, the last uh, pillar quartz, and boom, you're gonna put your button on the wheel, just like this, and then right in the middle behind the wheel, add your spruce wood fence to kind of hold it up as a support. Then take your wooden buttons and just put them 
on the back side just like this. You can even put one in the front if you so choose. And voila, there we go. So that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it. It is really simple and it is a great aesthetic feature. As you can tell, I have one in the backyard here just for aesthetic features and it just adds a nice little touch and realism to the actual neighborhood itself. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you want to see more tutorials, let me know in the comments on what you want me to do tutorials on. So I will see you guys soon and thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.